everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Katie and typically I film book reviews on this channel, but very occasionally I'll link a playlist here. I talk about what it's like working as someone who has their master's in industrial organizational psychology because when I was an undergrad studying psych, I really wish that there had been more videos like this, but I don't think I've ever filmed a week in the life before and I thought that might be a little bit interesting, but again, it's Monday, I'm in, I just pulled into the office and I'm in our big parking lot, so that's why it's very dark and grainy right now. A couple pieces I'll say up front is I'm going to show you the type of work I do and hopefully that's interesting but I will not be saying the name of my employer or the name of where I went to grad school. For privacy purposes I just like to keep my YouTube self very very separate from my personal life. I'll get a little bit more into what I do even though again I already have videos on that but I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Right now I really do have to head in because I have a meeting in a little bit. everyone. So it is now 1.30. I've had two calls and I've got another one coming up in a little bit. Wouldn't it be, I wish that I had this nice big office, but no, this is just a room you can pop into. You all saw my cube a little bit earlier on, but I wanted to take a second to talk about what the workday has been like to first just explain exactly what it is I do. I explain this much more in a detailed video I will link down below. So please, if you're interested in different types of jobs and in, in IO psychology that you can get, please check that out because it would take 10 solid minutes to explain in a video. But the specific area of IO psychology that I work in is really learning and development and culture. I work for a consulting company, so I work with clients on learning and performance. So it could be that employees or managers need help or training on how they coach their employees. It could be that they're having communication challenges, so they want personality assessments sent out and for me to facilitate a workshop. It could be that they want to create a mission and vision and they don't have one. It could be that employees overall are just not working well together and need to figure out how to communicate better. So I'm facilitating a workshop. My role, I would say is 80% L&D learning and development and then another 20% culture side. So that would be the engagement surveys to see how employees are feeling about how motivated they are and if they like working for the company, everything like that. So just as an example of actual meetings, and again, I can't show you my work laptop, but I did take a little clip of one of the calls I had this morning because part of my job is training. Although a weird thing in learning development is we just don't like the word training <laughs> because it has a negative connotation. The part of my job I enjoy the least is helping clients figure out how to assign training in our learning portal where all of our courses are held. It's tedious, it's just a lot of admin work, it's gotta get done, and it's a lot of the clients sharing their screen and me showing them like, what should they click so employees can be assigned their courses and get email notifications and all that. So, you know, IO psychology, I think on the surface, might sound kind of cool, at least it did to me in undergrad, but regardless of your job, you're obviously gonna have a lot of kind of shittier admin work that you have to do. So then we had our internal team meeting. So again, I'm a consultant, so I'm on a team with my peers and we talk about our clients, but then actual work I do day to day, who's it for? It's for the clients. And then the call I just wrapped up was really interesting. I'm working with a um, small company in New York City and they really want to launch a climate survey or an engagement survey, you know, which is anonymous. So employees can mark how they're feeling. Are they happy? Do they need anything? Um, and then they also want an all staff personality workshop. And they, what I facilitate on is disc if you're familiar with that and then they also want a workshop on growth mindset when you work in learning and development it can vary a lot sometimes you have workshops you can just download and facilitate on which i have some of but for example something like growth mindset i don't have a training on that so i would have to create it from scratch so we typically have to schedule out those workshops by a couple months i now have in another 30 minutes another one of those calls where i'm just helping them assign training in our learning portal so that's not the most interesting thing so I probably won't talk too much about that. But tomorrow is kind of exciting because I am traveling to Connecticut. I'm, so I'm taking a train on Tuesday to get to New Haven, Connecticut that evening. And then Wednesday, I'm facilitating a workshop. And then Wednesday evening, I will come back home. So it's kind of an interesting, entertaining week. So I thought that's why it would be a fun one to show.
And so it is about 4 p.m. on Tuesday. I, I just walked about 20 minutes from the train station to get to the hotel. This is the one I'm staying at. And I have to say, this is the cutest hotel I've ever stayed in. The way it works at my company, and I think for most consulting companies, is you get to pick out on the company website which hotel you're gonna stay at. Of course, they don't want you going overboard. So I think places at this hotel are under 150 a night. And I'm just shocked how incredibly adorable and nice this is. The next five minutes will probably not be interesting at all if you're watching this video because you're interested in IO psychology, but I, this piece will be a little bit more interesting for those of you who are subscribed for book reviews because I'm gonna, because I really wanna walk around and explore some bookstores, definitely pick up a book. And then I wanna try some New Haven style pizza. And then tomorrow morning, I'll head over to the client's office to facilitate the personality workshop. We'll have a little break and then I'm gonna help them create a mission and vision statement. everyone. It is about nine o'clock on Wednesday and I'm going to leave in about 20 minutes. My first workshop I mentioned is the personality assessment workshop and that's 12 p.m. to 1 45, 15 minute break and then about 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. we're going to cr help create their mission and vision. I say we, I mean me. <laughs> um, and then I have the train back home at 4 30 p.m. I'm just here practicing. I don't want to show the laptop fully because it says the company name but there's my laptop. I'm just here practicing a little bit. have my clicker. My, the personality assessment workshop I could do blacked out or in my sleep. I've done it so many times, but this is my first time since the pandemic doing a mission and vision workshop. So I've got a little bit of first time jitters. Um, I'm going to leave here fairly soon because I told them I would get there around 10 o'clock just so I could meet leadership. And also I have to like write some things on these giant sticky notes just to get ready for the workshop so I can have people get out in um, breakout groups and everything like that. So I'm going to head out pretty soon, but wish me luck. It is now actually a few days later. It's Tuesday, March 14th. I didn't film the rest of the week because I was really just responding to emails and I was kind of brain dead. So I thought today I'll film and it'll be the last day. This is my work attire when I'm working from home. I'm at my desk here. I typically do my work shirt and then my giant fluffy robe, which makes me feel a little bit like Sailor Moon um, to keep me cozy while I work. But I thought both sessions went well. You know, the disc personality workshop, Again, I do so many of those. I knew that would be fine. The mission vision session was a lot of fun, especially because it wasn't as much me presenting as it was really just facilitating a conversation. It was really interesting seeing how each group, we separated them in two groups and had each of them create their own mission vision for the company and then come back and share and discuss. So it was just really interesting to see the discussions. Just for a little bit on today and then I'll wrap things up. I just got off a work call, not wearing this obviously, I just threw it on, where in all the way in June, I'm facilitating a workshop helping managers learn how to coach and motivate their employees. And even though that's scheduled, it's scheduled all the way in June because the, that's when all the managers are available, but I was having a little bit of a needs analysis to look at what they're looking for. Will I probably ma start making the deck until probably May. And then I just have another couple calls with clients later today, but nothing really too different or new from what I've mentioned before earlier in the video. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to have linked down below. So please go ahead and check out the description box. Past videos where I probably answered other IO psychology related questions you're thinking of. Of course, you're welcome to comment more questions down below. Please let me know your experiences, your questions on school and work. But again, I might have already answered those in other videos, so I will link that down below. But I hope that this was helpful to those of you who maybe are thinking about pursuing a degree in IO psychology to give you a little bit of a flavor of just one type of job that's available underneath the entire umbrella of IO psychology. But I hope you all are doing well and I will see you in the next video which will probably be a book review back to my normal content not related to this type of work. But I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!